Good morning, everyone. Marty here. Um, we are on day 20 of 21 days for recovery from fear. And I decided to do this, um, Karen, based on what you had posted, this what I'm going to call sort of fear that you'll never be able to calm your mind uh, not, uh, down enough to benefit from any sort of help. And I, I just, I'll, I'll share personal personally with you, my I have that brrr, rapid fire mind. It's how my brain works um, at this stage of the game. Kind of always has been. But the thing that I would say is, it always goes back to, to just have this expectation that um, some days you're going to be calmer than others. Some days you'll, you'll, you'll be off the rails. Some days you'll be able to rein it in more. Um, I noticed that with myself. I, um, I get taken out all the time. I mean, get taken out all day long. And, um, even though I see the benefit of improvement in my life, um, especially consistently, I notice it is, it's a daily habit. It's like any other practice or exercise. It's yoga practice or, um, say you're learning any new sport or any learning how to paint or learning how to, you know, take better photographs or things like that. Any of that is, it takes practice. And, and I would tell you, that's the thing that I really never put together for the longest time about personal development is like, it's a practice, Marty. You're probably going to be doing this the rest of your life. And, and I know I will be. Um, and some of my mentors have always said, you have to keep working on yourself, which I believe is true. And, and I don't mean it in this way of like, oh, I've got to be doing this processing all the time and I can never really enjoy my life. It's not that at all. It's about just being aware at times on a daily basis when you're like, wow, I'm really like taking myself out right now. Oh, here comes my cousin's dog to join us. Rasco. Um, so it's that, like I noticed this morning when I woke up early, I was like, wow, I've got some really interesting thoughts going on. But what I'm, what's happening for me now more than ever is I'm just becoming more and more aware of it, like aware of them aware of the fact that I have some interesting thoughts that go off in my head. Um, and I do think that all of us can go through a stage where you, you, I swear, you feel like you're getting worse. You feel like, oh my God, I'm just getting worse. When in fact, oh hey Osama, waving back to you, when you're actually not getting worse, you're just becoming more and more aware. So just know that that can happen as well, that you at times you're like, oh my God, like I feel like I overthink everything, but awareness becomes a bigger part of it. So just notice that at times, maybe when you think, oh God, I'm getting worse, you're not. You're, you're becoming more aware, especially if you're tapping or doing some kind of personal development. Hello, hello to you in guitar. Always happy to have you here, Osama. Um, so I wanted to say that, hey, Vicki, how are you? Happy to have you here as well. Um, just if you keep that in mind, like, you know, it's um, I'm going to be a work in progress. I'm going to get taken out throughout the day at times. But what can I do to bring myself back in more quickly? If you see it that way, when you have the mind frick going on, it's going to bother you less. And it's going to going to become more of what I'm going to call like an experiment. <laughs> Looking at Roscoe, he's like staring at me. It's hilarious, little dog. Um, and, and, and it's not to say that you're not going to get down about feelings that you have. Um, you can't, and that's okay too. Like we're, as much as we're spiritual beings, we're human beings with human emotions too. So it's finding the balance between the two. And, and the thing that I've always found that works for me is, I'm so conditioned by the human side of me that as I alleviate more and more of the mind frick and you know on a daily basis when I'm like okay I notice it that makes a huge difference so I would just pay attention to that as well because um, and, and noticing that your mind might calm down like this much first and then it's gonna calm down this much more and then it's gonna calm down a little more 
and then a little more, and then a little more, and then a little more. It, 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 it's not like, oh God, you know, I'm, oh, you know, I've reached enlightenment or whatever you believe. But if you think of it that way, it, it, it just makes the human part of us um, more acceptable, more embracing, you know, um, and, and that's going to help transition things anyway. So with all that said, as always, let's start tapping. Day 20. Even though I get mad at myself, because sometimes I cannot seem to calm my mind down. I choose to acknowledge I feel this way. Even though sometimes I get mad at myself because I can't seem to calm myself down. What if that's okay? What? But what if acceptance is the key? And what if by accepting my non-calm moments, actually really going into them and feeling them, I start to alleviate them by feeling them consciously. I accept myself and my feelings now. I'm just gonna go to the eyebrow. Are you serious? What are you, crazy? Except when I'm not calm? Sit there and feel it? I'm feeling too much of it already. But what if there's a difference in feeling it consciously and just letting it run amok. What if the first step here is to really tune into the emotion, tap while doing it if I can, notice my fear, my anxiety, any way I'm not feeling calm. And by doing that, I notice that it moves. Emotions have movement. They come and they go. They build and they soften. And what if, by starting to pay attention to the emotion I'm feeling and actually really tune into it, I'm no longer afraid of it and it starts to dissipate. Because what if that's the biggest problem right now? Is I have certain emotions I'm afraid of. So as soon as I start to feel them, I'm like, uh-uh, no, no, no. And I clamp down on them. And then they get bigger. What if I can use my observing mind to start to notice, wow, I'm not feeling very calm at all right now. I'm not feeling calm. And what if I can just notice it and watch how it moves? Because this is practicing being the observer 
of my emotions instead of allowing them to take me over. And as I become the observer of my emotions, it's actually a different experience because I start to separate from them more and more. And the more I do that, the more I start to notice my mind naturally calms down without me having to try and calm it down. And by allowing myself to feel fully, that's my roadmap to freedom. And I would definitely like to feel more freedom emotionally. Hey Dawn, and I'm really open to that idea right now. So take a breath. So when I was going through my epic anxiety, that is what I noticed. I started to do this practice of feeling it. I would just sit there and tap. Sometimes I wouldn't tap, so just know that too. And I would just be like, oh, okay. Wow, I do not like this feeling. But I was becoming the observer of it. And I really did notice that my anxiety started to dissipate by tuning into it, by paying attention to it, by, by really focusing on it. Not to like elevate it, even though that may have happened, but, and it might not have, but when I really just started to like, oh wow, wow, I really don't like this feeling, but I'm noticing it, and, I, and then I would just start to tap. Sometimes, like I said, I would just meditate within the feeling. Um, it was, oh, hey, Penelope, thank you for doing these sessions on Facebook. It really helps. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. I hope so. It's good to hear that. Thanks for the feedback, Penelope. Um, it was huge to just go, whoa. Sometimes I would just sit there, and then one time I had this memory. This was kind of the last big bout of anxiety that um, I had. I had a memory of um, the silent treatment with my father, and I was like, oh, my God, I just sat there tapping 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 at one point I remember thinking oh my god I feel like I could die 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 and I was tapping on that and that's such a young part of me such a young part of all of us that really strong potent emotion where I was like that's how I felt as a little kid when I could not get my father to talk to me no matter what it was like <gasps> I panicked panicked and got thrown into anxiety so I would tell you, it's just a tool. If you can even sometimes just sit there and feel like, oh my God, I'm not calm at all right now. I'm not calm. If you can tap and if you can't, just tune into it, close your eyes and feel it. What you'll notice is the movement of the emotion and you start to become the master of your emotions instead of like letting them master you. And again, when I say the master, I'm talking about, you know, today I did it like this much better than I did it the day before. Um, it's kind of when I, you know, told you the story about finding one thing um, to feel good about when I didn't feel good for like a year and I was like, oh my God, like, okay, if I really looked at it, probably 99% of my day felt like shit, but the 1% is the thing that I started to focus on and that started to, to slow the momentum of the negative and then start to build into more positive momentum. So Osama, Penelope, Dawn, let me go back down here, Vicki, um, anyone that's been here live and anyone else that watches us later, thanks so much for being here. I always like to see, see people live and um, have a great, great rest of your day. And we'll be back tomorrow with day 21, the final day. Bye for now. Bye Osama, bye Vicki, bye Penelope, bye Dawn.